Okay, so this is a new series on Greylog, and we're going to start off here by installing it because that's the logical place to start with a new piece of software. So in order to get the Greylog solution working, we have three main components. We have the Greylog software itself, and this is the web GUI and where you go to manage all your data. Uh, we have OpenSearch or Elasticsearch. Uh, this is for storing all of your log data. Now, OpenSearch is the recommended solution, and that's what we'll be using here, but I believe they're trying to move away from Elasticsearch, so I definitely wouldn't recommend Elasticsearch for a new installation. And finally, we have MongoDB. Uh, this is going to hold all the configuration data for Greylog. So any changes you make in the web GUI uh, or any things we need to save, we do that uh, configuration in MongoDB. Okay, so as far as hardware is concerned, pretty much anything these days will handle a handful of logs, but these are more for when you're scaling up to huge systems and you need hundreds of thousands of logs being inputted every second. Uh, yeah, you just need to keep this in the back of your mind as you plan out your gray log installations. Okay, before we get started, you really want to make sure you have the time zone set on your server. And you really should read up about time and logging in general, because as soon as you start viewing logs or receiving logs from another time zone, you got some choices to make. Okay, so here are all the links to the install docs, and uh, you really should go and read through these as there's a lot of useful information in there. But I've kind of uh, consolidated all the commands into uh, little uh, nuggets here of little code. So uh, I'll put them all in the description uh, so you guys can follow along. You don't have to copy and paste from the video or anything. But we're going to go ahead and get started here with uh, MongoDB. Okay, as you can see here, MongoDB is really not that bad to install. All we're doing is grabbing the repository and the software directly from MongoDB um, and then installing the MongoDB software. So let's go ahead and copy and paste these commands into our putty here. Okay, and just like that, we have our MongoDB server running here. So this is very good. Now we can move on to our next step. Okay, our next application we're going to be installing here is OpenSearch. And much like uh, MongoDB, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. We're going to be grabbing a key, getting the repository and the software directly from OpenSearch. So let's go ahead and jump back into our putty. Okay, this is good. Uh, open search service has started and not giving us any errors or major errors at least. Uh, so the next thing we do have to do is actually configure open search. Okay, for open search to configure it, we need to edit this uh, YAML file here in etc open search open search dot yml. So let's go ahead and edit that file in the putty here, and we basically need to edit all these fields and add all this stuff in there. And then once we're done, we need to restart the open search service. So let's go back and jump into our putty and get all this done.
Okay, this is very good because if you edited that YAML file and uh, you had an error in there, uh, open search most likely wouldn't be started right now. It'd probably be complaining that you did something wrong. So this is good. Uh, now we can go ahead and move on to installing actual gray log software itself. And as you guessed it, much like the last two pieces of software, we're going to be grabbing the repository and installing this software directly from Greylog. So we're going to jump back into our putty here and uh, get these commands in here. Okay, so that installed great, but we need to stop there and go back because we actually need to install, uh, get some passwords in here because Greylog won't start unless we have two passwords set in its configuration file. So let's go ahead and get those installed here, uh, set up. So there's two commands. We need to, we, we first need to run these two commands, get the value that it outputs, and then edit this server.conf file uh, with these two values here. So let's go ahead and uh, run these two commands in the shell here. The first one is going to be the root password or your admin password. So when we get this all working and we log into the web GUI, this is the password password that you're going to be using to log in. Okay, so we need to copy this value it outputted here. And just copy that to a notepad, save it, and let's run this next command here. Now this next command is just generating a long random string. Okay, now that we have those two values, let's go ahead and edit the uh, etc gray log server server.com file. Okay, there's one more setting we need to edit in this config file, and that's the HTTP bind address. So that's just so we can access this machine over the network. So I'm going to go change this to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. And we'll go ahead and save this. Okay, now that we have those two set, now we should be able to go back, reload this service. Okay, this is very good. Gray log has started. Uh, this is a very good sign. Okay, so the gray log server is running, the open search service is running, and also the MongoDB service is running. So all three of those are running. We should be able to get into the gray log web GUI. So let's give it a try. And just like that, we have a working installation of gray log. Okay, I'm not going to change this in my setup, but I just wanted to make you aware that there is two locations that you can change the memory allocation. One is for Greylog itself, uh, and the other one is for OpenSearch or Elasticsearch. You just need to change these two files, edit the two files, and change the options here uh, to allocate more memory. And then just make sure you restart the Greylog service or the OpenSearch service. Okay, I think that just about does it for this video. Thank you again for watching.